Hello Minecraft friends, this is Tritany. Welcome back to Journey Through Minecraft, episode 30. I hope you enjoyed our last episode in episode 29. We did explore the Crimson Forest a little bit. And um, I hope you found it informative on a lot of the items that we did find in the Crimson Forest. And if you have not seen it, in my descriptions, I have timestamped all of the things that we do and see or as much as what we see in the description so that you could click on those timestamps and it should take you right to the exact part of the video that you want to see. So if you have not seen that, um, that is available in all of my videos because I think it's important that we timestamp that so you could go back to things that I've taught you or spoke about and you don't have to go through the whole video trying to look for it. All right, so what I have done, I have gone through some mining and cutting some trees um, off camera so that you don't have to watch some of that. So I got us some cobblestone, I got us some wood, uh, as you notice here, and I got I went fishing as well because um, that's really exciting. But there was some exciting things that I did get when I, I was fishing. I found uh, a Fire Aspect 2 knock, knockback book and enchanted book and a power three and mending one uh, enchantment book which is excellent so once we get a really good um, diamond pickaxe we're going to put that on there so that we can always repair so we're going to put some of this stuff away the fish that we caught um, and some rotten fish and then we'll put in here um, the books and some of these other miscellaneous items. I, I think we're going to put the books somewhere else, but this is where we're going to put it. And then I also found some saddles. So if you didn't watch my Taming a Horse short video, uh, it shows how you do tame a horse. And we'll do that in our one of our videos too, so I could do it a little bit slower. Because in the shorts, you only have 60 seconds to really cover everything. I think this is wool, so we'll put... Our wool here. I think that's wool because I don't think we have wool anywhere else. I don't have really big chest room, so um, I always put in the wrong place. It's supposed to go here. So yeah, this is wool. So all right, here it go. This is some wool, and then we got a spruce sampling. We're gonna we're gonna explore the Nether some more. So I'm gonna take a lot of this stuff out of our inventory so we don't lose it in case because there is something that I would like to do is to get into that one other area we only have one arrow left oh I think I think I have my bow yeah here we go here's my bow and then some arrows so in case some gas try to attack us we could take them out all right so we don't I think we have charcoal in our miscellaneous do we have charcoal here no, we don't. All right, so let's let's put some of our spruce logs. I just did. I, I pressed the X button on the item, and it gave me half of the stack. And I'm just going to put it into our item chest. So um, that item chest will will start cooking as as I showed you before. And then it'll, once it's finished, it'll go into our collection chest just like that, okay? So we'll wait for a couple minutes, and then I'm going to press Y. It'll give me uh, uh, four torches, I think is if it was. Yeah, four torches, so that's why I have seven. Now, right, what else can we put away for now? Uh, we'll, put, we'll put this away because that's an iron pickaxe. We don't really want to lose that. And um, we'll make some cobblestone pickaxe. And we'll use, what's that called? We'll, we'll use some netherrack for some things. But I'm going to get a stack of cobblestone. Because remember, the cobblestone in the nether does not blow up. And we have one golden helmet. Yeah, it doesn't blow up. So that's what we want to create stairs and bridges with. Because when the gas Hit, hit, gas hits it you don't want it to blow up while you're on it and then you end up falling into the abyss of lava all right so let's make some more torches there you go we'll wait just a couple minutes we'll eat 
We probably need to sleep anyways. Alright. We got a new update today too. Oh no, we don't have to sleep. We got a new update and one of the things it said is that you could color these signs. Well, I don't think I have a sign here. I should have a sign. I should put a sign here. Um, but you could color the sign with dye. We're going to have to try that one of these uh, episodes. All right, let's see how many more charcoal we got. Yep, there you go. Got five. That's that's probably a good amount. Let's uh, make some more sticks because, all right, we don't have any more planks. We can make some more if we want to, but um, 47 is good. That's what we'll use. Okay, we'll let the rest cook. Um, where's my bed? I did have a bed here. No, I don't. Where's our bed? I must have put it here. Nope, here. Nope. Let's be at top. Yeah, so I got lucky while I was fishing and got some enchanted books. Ah, where's my white bed? I'm missing my white bed somewhere. I must have left in the mine when I went mining off camera. Oh, one of the things that happened, the reason why this railing is missing, when I was off camera, I came up here. Oh, that's what happened. I think the the creeper, there was a creeper in here. And as soon as I came up the stairs, there's a creeper here. It shocked me. So I just stood there like a deer and it blew up. Um, so I went up there, added some more lights up there, and added more lights in here <laughs> because... Um, there is mobs spawning all over there, so that is why that's missing. All right, so I don't know where our other one is at, but that's okay because we won't need it. Um, I'm just going in circles, sorry. I won't need it because we're going to go into the nether. All right, so we have a safe zone in the nether. We have a helmet. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's in here. No, nope, it's not. Okay, let's go in the nether. We're going to explore some more. We want to find some nether wart. And usually you can only find those in one of the fortresses or the bastions. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And we'll go out here. I hear gas already. Being in here makes me nervous the whole time because I feel like I'm just going to fall into the lava. If you press the right trigger, you could turn off these little fire um, spots, just like that. Sometimes I leave some just for, what's that called, um, for lighting. But we're going to go this way. we got some stairs here. And we're going to see if we can go to the warp, what's that called, uh, forest. So here's here we'll, we'll use this as the stairs. Okay, this is the crimson force. We've done a little bit exploring in that already. It's it, it's pretty big. It goes back there. So, well, we're gonna continue on this way. I like to make stairs because, um, like I said, I like to leave breadcrumbs of where. I may have to go to get back to my my base so uh, we'll go here we'll make stairs here and see if we could get to that warp force because I think there is a warp force I think that's what it's called if it's not I'll put it in white text for you and correct myself okay there's one of the Wart hogs. I think they're called wart hogs. You can fight them. They're not too bad to to fight, except when they both are attacking at the same time. You could get uh, pork pork chops from them. Oh, did you notice they took two hearts off of me because I barely have any um, what's that called <laughs> armor on. So we're gonna leave a trail of of torches so that we know where we're, we're coming from sometimes I put I'll put a cobblestone just like that and then I'll put that way I know it's I can see it better and then I know which way to go all right so here is 
the warp forest, but uh, usually there are green trees. So this is like the start of one. We'll look how far that drop is. It's a little bit scary. So let's let's dig and see if we can get to it because this is the crimson forest. I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds cool. I don't remember those sounds. And so some what you could do is is of course tunnel through and see um usually you don't need oops didn't mean to do that you have to be really careful when you dig down like that because it could be i'm going to switch my torches next to my pickaxe to make it easier and let's dig this way and see if we could get to a warp forest or something else and you have to get down to a certain level to get to those ancient debris so that you could get those the net, netherite ingots. You have to cook it and all that. And I'll show you that in a, in a later episode. Right now we want to just kind of explore a little bit here in the, the nether. Check it out. Find some other cool stuff. This is a good easy way to get across is making tunnels like this. You're not getting attacked by a whole bunch of stuff. Others like to go above and travel on top or around. But I find um, this is a little bit better. I know it's dark. Forgive me. All right. That pickaxe died. Shouldn't be that far because there was I thought there was a tunnel already with with um <clears throat> for that warp forest and remember put your torches on the right side so you know which way is the direction to go back to your to your base or your nether portal because it's easy to get lost in the nether as you notice everything kind of looks exactly the same okay so here is a a cave all right so we're going to mark this cave with three that that tells us that is the direction to go back so we'll go this way and see if there's anything over here um, there's nothing so i'm gonna take that back just some fire let's go this way and see if there's anything over here Doesn't look like it. Okay. So I'm going to take this back because we, we need our torches. So there's nothing there. So what we'll do... Ooh, let's get this because we need some gold. Usually there's a bigger cluster than that. Um, we could go up and see because it looks like there is a crimson forest up here. Let's see. See, let's see. Looks like it's the top of nothing. <laughs> okay, let's go back down here. And let's keep digging this way. And see if we could get to that crimson, that warp forest. Because, actually, you know what? There's some nether quartz. Maybe we'll get lucky and run into a fortress. And then we can find ourselves some nether warp. Oh, it's taking a long time to dig it. Yeah, all this, you know, all the sounds and everything that's going on in the nether, it cuts, kind of makes me nervous. It makes the hair in the back of my neck stand up. Oops. And the good thing is there's not any mobs that spawn up in these caves that are really dangerous like in the overworld like it doesn't have creepers and things like that now there are part different biomes that uh, are really dangerous to have a lot of skeletons and wither skeletons and some other stuff so but in most cases it's not too bad until you get into those er into those area areas, and then it uh, it feels like you're fighting the whole time, especially if you don't have a a golden armor on. 
and then they um, they just attacking you constantly. All right, let's see how see how far more we could go. I'm gonna put torch lights so that you can see better. Okay, or torches, not torch lights, but torches. If this doesn't take us anywhere. I'll turn around it and go to some of those other places because I know Mike comment, commented that he'd like to see how I'm going to get down to that other biome that's at the very bottom. And we may try to attempt that this episode. And then what I'll do is probably off camera just go through here and um, keep digging until I get to a spot that's interesting and then, and then put it back on camera or or speed through this this kind of digging I don't know man we are just tearing up our pickaxes aren't we it's funny because netherrack doesn't take much to dig but it sure does tear up your pickaxes fast we got a crafting table so we can make some more if we need to I am surprised we have not run into anything, and I'm doing not very being. I'm not being very careful because I'm just walking forward. But a lot of times I like to look down before I walk forward because, like I said, you could just walk right into a hole and just drop. You well, know, we're getting some good materials, but. I know this is boring going through this. And what we'll do is the nice thing about digging through tunnels like this too is that you can make transportation system using the mine carts. And then um, I think I explained in one of my episodes that when you are down in the nether, you're traveling a certain distance from the overworld on top. And I'll have to look up what that ratio was. And I can't remember. You guys, might, you, you all might remember, but I don't. But um, I think it's like one, 1 to 4 or 1 to 8, something like that. I'll look another crimson forest. I'm crouching so I could look down and stuff. There's another crimson forest. So what we'll do is um, make some stairs going down. That way we could get down there. Yeah, I'll look. I'll look it up and and see. All right, what that ratio is, and I'll put on this this episode as well, so that we can remember what it is. All right, let's make some more. I know some of you guys are going. To, you you already know, and you're probably screaming at at me. Said it is this <laughs> but uh, I don't remember unfortunately all right so all right perfect all right so this is another crimson force we didn't get lucky we'll put it. okay why why are there um netherrack all spread out like that so remember we want we want to mark this so that we remember where <laughs> we have to go <laughs> you don't want to get lost in the nether all right i'm just going to walk around a little bit and just kind of look and see what we can find here see what biomes we can see but we want to get some of this too because i like glowstone they're great for lighting and since this is easy access I'll keep one here just so that we have lighting but um, this one's pretty easy access all right let's see over here and see what we can see oh man now that this is a huge huge crimson forest okay nothing else all right, so we'll go back, and we'll go to we'll we'll come back this way and see what we can find later. But um, we'll go back and try to make a bridge down to that other, the other biome. 
and we'll look and see what's what's over there on the other side um, so what I normally would do since this is just a huge crimson forest is I'll make a bridge actually that will go all the way across go through the trees go on to the other side and um, and then continue on because this looks like it's really large crimson forest I can't see anything else but a crimson forest all right let's go up here it's um jump I'm, I'm double tapping forward to run and if you want to run even faster just hold the a button and then you'll jump and run at the same time and it seems to go faster but you can get stuck like that um and you just you just bounce up double tap forward and run and it seems like you'll run faster but you you will eat up a lot more of your fuel oh mr hogs hogwarts oh no oh no i'm getting two of them fighting you see when it's only one they're pretty easy but boy when you have a couple of them attacking like that it uh, they'll take off two hearts uh, at a time see this this is a wart um, forest foliage or ground but there's nothing over here let's see if we could kill that gas because we don't want to get we don't want to get hit by that gas while we're walking okay there, there he is Oh, missed him. Whoa. There you go. He's down. All right, let's, let's get the gas tier. And there's another gas, of, of course. Again, Crimson Forest over here on this side. Another Crimson Forest. Man, this is just a huge crit. Crimson Force. And it's going to be, oh, look at them. And there's our portal over there. And there's another gas I can hear over here. What else is over here? Let's check this area out. Okay, there is some land that goes a little bit lower and that's we'll, we'll head that way so we want to be closer i thought i put i thought i put um what's that called cobblestone here to kind of contain this lava let's put some cobblestone contain it Hopefully, Mr. Gas doesn't. There you go. So that should clear that up. That'll free us to run around a little bit better around around this area. Those are. Oh, I forget what they're called. It was right on the tip of my tongue too. <laughs> it's. Uh, I want to say lava slime but it's not lava slime larva slime or something like that okay so but they they give you magna cream and that's good we will need some of that too especially for the potion um table This will get us closer to that other biome. A little bit safer too because we're not completely on a bridge. So I I will look up the name for this little lava bouncy guy. I can't I cannot remember his name for some reason. I don't even know where he went. He's probably gonna knock me off. But we wanna get down there. Ooh, look, there's um we can actually go down this way and then go down let's do that so here is our stairs right here oh there he is wait 
I hear him bouncing. Where is he? They're making me nervous. Let's look over here real quick and see what we can find. Another crimson forest. Some more gold nuggets. Sometimes when you mine the gold nuggets in front of the piglins, they get agitated. So if they start attacking you, it's because you're too close to them when you're mining these. So just be careful. All right. There's some more gas. Can't tell what else is over there. The piglins, I guess, did not see us uh, mine that. So let's try and take this these guys out. I tried to get that fireball. <laughs> That's why I was a little bit quiet. I was trying to... Oh, shoot. I'm going to run out of arrows. Look at... There's just so many of them. Oh, my gosh. I'm wasting arrows. Oh, I've been forgetting to put uh, breadcrumbs, too. Oh, there's the other biome. We don't even have to... Let's see if we can... See if we could try to hit, hit him. Oh shucks! <laughs> oh, all right, he is tearing up the ground. Let's get this guy. Oh no, I'm out. <laughs> We're gonna have to go get some of our chickens. And so there was another biome over there that we could go to, but I don't have enough arrows. And notice they just are bombarding me with uh, with fireballs. So we're gonna try to go over there after we get some after we get some more arrows. And that is a big hole. We're gonna have to cover that at some point because we don't want to fall through that. All right. Let's go back in here. We're going to have to get more arrows, a better bow. We definitely need a better bow, and we need some more arrows. All right. We are back to safety. <laughs> so we got a whole bunch of nether racks, so we could put that away. Let's put the nether rack away. And um, I will show you something with nether rack. Let's put, let's put all this stuff away first. Well, we're going to organize all of the nether stuff at some point. Um, but if you put if you put um, nether rack inside your cooker, and you can only do it in a furnace. You can't do it in a, a blast furnace or a smoker. You have to do it in here. What you'll get is nether rack bricks. So if you want to make nether blocks, uh, nether brick blocks then you have to make bricks first it's a huge process one of the reasons why you need to get a lot of coal um, because if you're going to make a nether block building and I'll show you that here let me um actually what I could do is just get this and it should trigger it should trigger what I can make with it right here so you need four nether bricks to make a nether brick block. So if you want to make a building with nether brick blocks, you're going to have to get a lot of nether rack. As you notice, each nether rack created one brick. And so you have to have four nether racks of blocks to make one nether brick block. So <laughs> hopefully that made some sense. Um, but if it, it is a nice building material and you can make some really cool buildings with it. But you have to collect a lot of nether rack. But if you notice there's a lot of nether rack all over the nether. So if you want to make the nether red nether bricks you have to have the, the nether brick and nether wart which is what we're trying to look for. And most of the time, you only find those in certain biomes, the bastions, some bastions, and the uh, fortresses. And so that is an, a very important um, resource that we need to get for potions as well. So 
yeah so and once you get the nether brick block then you can make another brick fences as well see and again you have to have gosh you have to have a lot of blocks and nether bricks to make six fences and they are cool they're very cool looking um, but it takes a lot of nether racks to, to make them so that was a little bit of lesson on the nether nether rack all right so let's see i don't know where our bed went but i think we're gonna end this episode here we did a little bit of exploration into the nether to try to find some nether wart um got attacked by gas but in our next episode we're gonna have to create a chicken farm so that we can get more feathers a lot quicker or look for a skeleton a spawner and create a monster farm so we may do one of those two before we go back in the nether it's best to be well equipped to go into the nether before you go back in there or else you you notice all i did was run because i was just getting attacked like crazy and so we'll do that all right so as always if you guys like this video please hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification i'll turn on your notification as well so as soon as i upload a new video you'll be notified and you can watch my next episode i have a twitter account just do at treat treat and you'll find me uh, it's also linked in my in my links in my description Yo, as always, grow through gaming, connect with people, and have a great day. Thank you for watching.